Wallabot is sitting underneath the phone. We have a fake wall. We have a pipe, common thing you might find in. Now you see it, putting it in the wall. And now you see it again. Wallabot. Let's see what it's all about. Now what the product does, it works with an Android smartphone and in combination it lets you see on the smartphone screen what exists in the wall. Okay, so it's kind of x-ray vision. Is it as good as Superman? Absolutely not. But it does allow you to see into a wall and hopefully prevent you from cutting a hole where you don't want to make a hole in that sheetrock or whatever material that wall is made out of. You're going to attach Wallabot using the OTG cable that comes with it to your smartphone. And to use it, you need to download the Wallabot app. It's a free app. And let me emphasize, this only works with Android. This will not, at this point in time, by the time you watch this video, there is a chance that they already have an app that will allow you to use it with an iPhone. I don't know if that's going to take place. Now, the demonstration that you're about to see will consist of more than one part. I'm going to be taking Wallabot onto regular walls, sheetrock walls, where we're going to be able to see that there's something inside. The big question, what are we seeing? Because unless we cut a hole in that wall, we really won't know. And the other part is we're going to have a sheetrock piece raised up on boards, uh, and we're going to be able to place things underneath it and be able to see when exactly what is underneath and see what Wallabot sees. The most significant thing that this will allow you to do is tell you there is nothing in the way of the area that you want to cut into. I have Wallabot over here and I have the cable so it is hooked up to my phone. I have started the app and it says start and what we're doing right now is calibrating it and so we're moving it back and forth to calibrate it to our dummy sheetrock wall that we have over here. And it now has an arrow indicating that it's calibrated. Now I'm moving it around, and I think I just might have picked up something. Now I'm picking up a reading. Two settings. Raw data. And what I'm actually picking up is the wood. That I have on supporting the sheetrock. Okay, we see that on raw data. Now there is nothing in this area over here for me to pick up. And when I first saw that, I was got concerned. I'm going to take a pipe, okay, a plumbing pipe, and I'm going to stick it underneath. Okay, and you just saw it popped up on the screen. I'm going to remove it and stick it back in. And so you can see we have it. I'm going to click on the side and I'm going to go from raw data to pipes. And we can see that pipe that's there. Again, I'm going to slide it out, it disappears, and slide it back in, move it around, and you can see it has picked up that pipe. Now, it is not capable of telling of us if there is heat in that pipe. Again, now we're picking up the beam. But now, notice we're getting a very, very false description 
of a 2x4 uh, over here because of the fact that uh, it is only able to give two kinds of readings, raw data, okay, or pipes. Now we have other things where we can do a snapshot and that means it's now taking a picture right onto your phone of what it actually saw and it's asking you what do you want to do with it and I'm saying share with my gallery. So it's going to be stored on my in my gallery and you can see that it says that there. And we're going to take that out, pipe out. We're going to take an electrical wire and place the electrical wire in. Okay, and I just found it, but it's kind of flaky. I'm going to look underneath and see how it's sitting. I'm going to actually take it out, and that's it. I'm going to curve it. And stick it back in. Okay, it's a little, probably a little further up. There it is. And we can try to follow it. So you can see that it does work. It will tell you what's inside your wall. I'm going to slip plastic pipe. Uh, if you're in new construction, there's an awful lot of it around. And let's see what it does. And there, we just picked it up without any problem. And another piece of plastic pipe, one more recognizable since it does have its name on it. Let's slip that into our fake wall. And you can see that it has picked it up very, very nicely. And if I switch back from raw data, the pipes. Okay, and the interesting thing is it. okay, I've just slid it further in, because at first it was giving it kind of, and it's still, it's jumping around. I'm going, I am perpendicular to where it is sitting right now. So when it gave that kind of weird kind of, thing is at the end of the pipe, but it's a straight pipe. So, it is not as good as x-ray vision, but it does give you a clear idea that whether or not the wall is empty or whether or not there is something that might be in your way that you have to um, check on. One of the things they indicate you can do with this is move it to actually follow shapes. So we've really taken a look at it uh, on our fake wall. Uh, we saw that it did pick up the 2x4 in Roar, but when it gave a very misleading information about it because it only has the two set settings, either pipes or raw data. Uh, I would expect that they're going to have updates, and the updates of their software might already exist by the time you're, you're viewing this video. This is an Israeli tech company um, that is also making, using the same technology, uh, a scanner to scan for uh, cancer. And uh, it is using microwave energy uh, as far as where it is in the radio spectrum, but non-ionized. And in other words, energy that is safe to the human body. Uh, the same energy is being used at, um, to, uh, in some new scanners that they don't talk much about uh, to scan luggage and scan other things to look for weapons. And uh, we do know that Israel is a country that is very, very concerned with security. We're going to take a look uh, at some actual walls. Right now, it is only able to look through a wall and tell you uh, if whether the wall is clear or give you an idea based more on your knowledge of what would be in the wall and how and where it's lying between the studs as to whether or not there's wiring in your way for cutting a hole in that wall or plumbing uh, or something else. I'm... 
on a wall now that backs up a bathroom. I'm getting pretty close to the screen so that you can see. Okay, that's where the plumbing would be on the other side. Not easy letting you see. Here we have our raw data coming in of the plumbing. I'm moving now and I'm in, as you can see, an area that is clear. I'm now And I'm going to be moving back to where the plumbing pieces would be. So I'm backing up a bathroom. And you can see I don't want to drill there. But I want to drill a hole and cut a piece out. There would be the place to go. I am got Wallabot on a wall by an electrical outlet. I'm in raw data. You'll notice what I'm actually picking up right now is the stud that the electrical box is connected to. And I can follow it up and the electrical wire would be running along with it. Uh, as I said, one of the problems is I just know that is a bad area to actually cut into the wall. But if I move over to other areas, I can see areas that are completely clear. Though I am picking up something, but I know that there's an electrical outlet on the other side of this wall, and there's probably a cable going to it, and that's probably what I'm picking up. My college students would be kind of upset if I didn't remind you of certain things about Wallabot. Uh, so to do that, let me just bring this around. It's in the air, so what it's picking up uh, it would be somewhat behind me. I'm hoping you can see this. We'll know in a little while. Uh, we have settings, okay? And, uh, okay, wanted me to do a calibration. I don't want to calibrate. Um, and uh, we can set the intensity threshold, as you can see over there. We can run a tutorial to see exactly how to actually use it with some advanced tips and calibration tips. We can select our wall type, which can easily be done when you're on the display point. And again, it's drywall or concrete. And also the sensing mode, which you know is either raw data or pipes. And again, a later iteration of the software will probably give you more options, and that might already be out uh, by the time you're watching this video. It's always hard to say uh, what will take actually take place. Now, to finish up about Wallabot. It will not work at this point in time with Apple. It will only work with Android. That said, it will not work with all Androids. Uh, they have a listing on their website, and you can look up and see exactly what Androids it works. You need the latest phones. Uh, you need a phone that can have the OTG, has an OTG slash USB port on it, and so forth. And the worst thing you could do is purchase this and find out you need to now buy a $600 phone to make it work. So you want to check all those factors out. It doesn't tell you it, label diagrams of what's inside the wall. It doesn't give you that Superman kind of vision from the comic book that you can see specifically each thing. It gives you an idea if an area is clean, clear, or if there's something in the way. The raw data is much more useful than the pipe data since everything in the pipe data is seen as a pipe, including the studs of your wall. So you have to realize that. You can set its sensitivity, so if you're finding things are a little crazy, in the hands of someone who's doing carpentry for a livelihood, or someone as a hobbyist is doing carpentry who really does a lot of work uh, in house construction, repair, or rebuilding houses, whatever, this would be a great tool.